of God is preached with power and under the influence of the Holy Spirit. I am Reverend Dr. Roger Lotson, pastor of Carnegie and Emmanuel Baptist Church, and I am inviting you and you to come on in to the Spirit of and feel the Spirit of the Lord in this holy place. We have services, the first, second, and third Sunday, and we have Bible study each and every Thursday. One hour of Bible study from 7 o'clock to 8 o'clock on Thursday. I invite you to get your friends, get your family, and come on in to Carnegie and Emmanuel Baptist Church and feel the power of God, hear the Word of God, and receive a blessing from God. This is Reverend Dr. Roger Lotson, pastor of Connick and Emmanuel Baptist Church. I hope to see you soon, seated in one of these pews. God bless you. See you soon. Lord God, I pray now, Lord, that I'll sit down 
And you'll stand up within me, Lord God. Word my mouth, Lord God, that I might say something and say it in the right word ways, Lord God. That it may penetrate the hardest of hearts, Lord God, and the thickest of brains, Lord God. Let it seep into them, Lord God, and change their way of thinking, their way of living, Lord God, and their way of serving you. Bless now, Lord God, this church as it celebrates its anniversary, Lord God. But let them realize, Lord God, that there's a new history that yet to be made. We pray all these prayers in Jesus. Jesus name. Amen. 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 You may have your seat. At this time, I'm going to go to your theme scripture, going to the book of Haggai. And I'll begin reading the second verse. I'll go down to the fifth verse and I'm going to jump over to the ninth verse. Now as I looked at that second verse, which is your theme verse, Oftentimes, when I hear preachers and evangelists and teachers refer to that scripture, they only look at the beginning part of that scripture. And then when they look at the beginning part of that scripture, they use it inappropriately. Or they don't use it in the way that Haggai used it as it's written here. Oftentimes, I hear people read and they say, uh, I said the second verse. I don't think it's the second verse. Third verse. Who was left among you that saw this house in her first glory? And then they pause, put a little emphasis, and they say, and how do you see it now? And how they, meaning it in that sense, they mean to say that, look how it was back then. Come on. How it wasn't much to it. But look what God has done now. It was marvelous in our eyes. They thought that one in too. But that is not the true meaning of this verse. And we're going to look at it. But let me back up to the second verse. And, and as I go down, and uh, I, I love coming to a church like First Credit Hill where, uh, where a preacher like Pastor Elsie is here. Because I know that you don't mind a little teaching. 